Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with a four-box random team break of 2018 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. Brand new Allen and Ginter. One spot gets you two teams in a four-box break. So big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. So let me double you up, Sir Mix-a-Lot style. So there's everyone right there. Now, we combo... The Tigers and so there's 31 spots, but then we combo the Tigers and Rays to make 30 spots, and we also have that non-baseball, non-sport other spot. So if you look at the checklist on either GroupRateCheckList.com or CardboardConnection.com, any non-sport basically is the musicians, the surfers, the scientists, the uh, the actors, John Lovitz, all of those guys. You know, the dinosaurs, the um, the you know non non-baseball playing cut autos, that'll all go to you. So that, that there's all sorts of fun stuff here. All of the world's greatest beaches cards will go to you. So that's actually a really good spot to get because that's pretty much the catch-all, the non-baseball or non-sport or other category. So that's pretty much everything else that's not associated with these teams right here. All right. So let's randomize each list. And we'll randomize each list 10 times, 5 and a 5, 10 times. 10 the hard way. 1. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got Robert Hausner on top. We've got Bulldog Fan in the 30 spot. Will Comstock in the house. Let's get your names there. And five and a five, ten times for the teams. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Five and a five. So after ten times, we've got the the non baseball, non sport, or other spot on top, all the way down to the brew crew. Nice. So Robert Hausner with that catch all spot. All right, so there you go, Robert. Scott McNulty with the Yankees. Jeremy Merle with the White Sox. Scott McNulty with the Tampa Bay, or no, sorry, with the Nationals. Lucas, you have the Tigers-Rays combo as well as the Royals. Uh, Rob, you've got the Blue Jays. Anthony with the Marlins. Jonah with the Orioles. Jeremy Merle, Mariners and Rangers for you. Tim, you got the Pirates. Scott McNulty with the Giants. Robert with the Reds. Tim, you got the Indians. Stephen Kay with the Phillies. Jeremy Merle, Cubs and Angels. Alan Murdoch, Mets and Braves. Anthony with the Cardinals. Jarrett Kay with my Dodgers. Very, 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 very close to getting Machado. Not official as of the Dodgers Twitter account, but close. Rob with the Red Sox. Jonah with the Padres. Jarrett Kay with the A's. Jeremy Merle. Last spot, Mojo Twins. Uh, Will, you got the Diamondbacks. Scott McDulty. Rocky. Stephen Kay with the Astros. And Bulldog fan with the Brewers as well. Let's sort by team. Trades are allowed, so feel free to trade if you'd like. And while you're thinking about trades, let's pop this fresh case open of the brand new Allen & Ginter. Now, we also have half case uh, pick your teams as well. Half case pick your teams as well. And that's on jazbeeshobbyland.com, of course. All right. We've got four, four, and four right here, so we're going to roll the die. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's four. One, two, three, four. So it'll be this middle stack right here. This stack we will reserve for next time. So this will be, well, that's, how should we do this? I'll write, I'll write RT on here so we don't mix those up with uh, any of the pick your teams. And then either of these boxes in some combination will end up being the next four box break of Allen and Ginter. So let's set these aside here. We have the Blue Jays for trade. Now, Zach saying Machado to the Dodgers, I know. 
Evan, yes, I know. Curtis, yes, I know. But it's not official yet unless at Dodgers, their Twitter account says it. It's not, it's not official until then. Blue Jays are for trade if anybody wants the Blue Jays. But John Samuelson saying ESPN tweeted Manny in a Dodger uniform just now. Well, it's getting pretty close. Pretty darn close. Well, ESPN saying Manny Machado officially a Dodger. But the Dodgers' Twitter account has not said anything. It's not official yet. Pro I probably won't believe it until the, until the press conference. All right, I don't think, uh, uh, yeah, I don't think there's any trades, Rob, so let's continue. So TWC, trade window closed. Let's print this out, and let's go. Let's see what, we, let's see what you guys get. Good luck, everybody. All right, there you go. So on the 18, there's the official printout. New toner, obviously. Look at that. And there's everyone right there. Good luck, everybody. Evan saying, if you sign Machado, re-sign Machado back, move Seager to third and get rid of Justin Turner. Jesus. Just harsh. Now, Justin Turner, you probably moved to first. Then you move Cody Bellinger to center field for a little bit. Justin Turner's contract expires in a few years. Here's all the stuff you can get. And then you just wait until then. Machado will play short. Corey Seager, you want coming off of elbow surgery. You don't want him on third. You want him at second base. Get rid of Justin Turner. It's crazy talk. All right, let's pop these open. Good luck, everybody. Always a fan of Allen and Ginter. Remember, Boss Man was an autograph in this in last year's Allen and Ginter. He's on the checklist. Mike Jasperson, check it out. 2017, 2018 should be filled with some fun stuff as well. One of my favorite products of the year. Always a a fun, quirky sort of break. So good luck, everybody. We'll save all the box hoppers for the end. Eric Jennings saying that the Phillies will make a big push for Manny Machado in free agency. They've got a lot of money to spend. They do. I could see the Braves in on it as well. They've got they've got money to spend. I know, I know the Dodgers, who, who are not burdened by the luxury tax threshold anymore. They're certainly going for Manny Machado, especially if they make a trade like this. You would think it would, it would be with the intent to, uh, to re-sign Manny Machado, not just as a rental. What's the box hopper supposed to be? Who knows? Who knows? It could be baseball player. It could be a random thing. I don't know. I'm sure there's, there's the checklist. Certainly has it. Could be autographs in there. Evan saying that the Royals are rebuilding at the deadline. So what are the what are the Royals doing? What are their plans? Gotta watch out for all those mini cards too. Might slide out of here. All right, good luck everybody. Box number one, our first box of Alan Ginter of the brand new Alan Ginter today. It's always the the classic look here. Magnificent Moons. Europa. That's a pretty good moon. And they've got Topps Home Run Challenge cards in here too. I guess you'll, that'll go to the Mariners. So good luck. Nice. We got Tanaka. Got Garrett Richards. 
Now some of these minis can be numbered on the back, so I'll save all of those till the end of the break and we'll just look at it. Harbor Island, where are you? Oh, the Bahamas. Bahamas is nice. I've been there before. We got Fantasy Gold Mine. Tom Seaver. We got East Germany. Flags of Lost Nations. That's pretty cool. I'd be into that. Oh, so this will be, um, you know, even though you might recognize the player right here, this will actually go to the uh, that other spot that we have. Where is this? Samsung Park? Huh. Wow. Samsung Park. All right. We got West Germany as well. And Miranda. I don't know where Miranda is. Oh, it's a... Oh, Uranus. Or Uranus. Family show, folks. All right. Let's get this side done. And then we have... Our first hit out of here, Ian Happ. Got an Ian Happ relic going to the Cubbies. Jeremy Merle with the Cubs. New Dodger, perhaps. I could, I could just, I could just color this in with blue. Make that work. Total solar eclipse. Venice Beach. We're right down the street from there. Tommy Pham. So we'll kind of breeze through these. Correa. Vintage baseball. That's what they looked like back then. I like the bullpen car. They should, they should, all, the, all the ballparks should bring that back. Jeannie Bouchard. One of my favorites. Canadian tennis player. There's Richards again. There's Machado again. So we'll breeze through, breeze through these a little more quickly now, now that we've got a good idea of what this looks like. And our autograph, little mini framed autograph for the Angels. Nice. That's Troy Scribner. That's pretty cool. Love the frames. I don't think she's too... How tall is she again? She's not too tall for me. Is she too tall? A lot of great value in this set because there's a lot of people who build, who build these insert sets. So you can get a lot, especially early on, you can get a lot of value out of this stuff. Oh, this is the this is the moon that that Curtis is a fan of. The Ganny Maid moon. There's McCutcheon. More great beaches, vacation destinations. I should plan plan my next tropical beach vacation around uh, <laughs> around these inserts, and then we've got George Springer relic. Nice. As for the Astros, Stephen K with the Strohs kind of got a little PTSD seeing Springer hit a homer off a Dodger pitcher last night in the All Star game. That was not good. <laughs> John Oakray in the house. I know, I love this too. All right, now we'll take a look at the back, see if any of these were numbered. Sometimes they've been hand-numbered. Sometimes not. Nothing here. Now, obviously, all the minis will ship. Um, what, what are our... Basically, the commons are going to be the stuff that doesn't ship. But all the short prints, the inserts, the rookie cards, and obviously the hits will ship. All right, we'll save all these box toppers for the end of the break. We'll do them all at once. 
Short prints have more of a uh, have a glossy finish. Oh, we got one of these too. All right, so our shipping team will will be able to identify all of that before it gets shipped out. Yeah, John Oakery, rough times for the Brewers at the All-Star game. I I kind of feel bad about about Josh Hader. I didn't realize that there was all this controversy swirling around him yesterday. I don't know. For tweets that he made 7 years ago. I don't know. Careful what you put on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right, Robert, do all do all my moons ship? Of course they ship. Those are those are considered inserts. Also, there's a one per case glow in the dark mini. We may as well we may as well just ship everything. I've yet to pull an Otani. I'm in box. I only did one box, Steals and Deals. Yet to pull an Otani. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of a teenager. And I think he was, from what I understand, I think he was just kind of quoting, like, rap lyrics or, like, Dave Chappelle skits and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. It seems a little... I mean, so who – someone was digging around his Twitter account, right, and just looking to, to like, throw shade on him, to, I guess, in the middle of the All-Star game? Also, why aren't professional athletes having have, – why aren't their clubs scrubbing, like, their Twitter accounts? Why doesn't someone go, yeah, we've got – we've hired this, this company that's going to scrub your Twitter account of anything questionable – as a condition of you signing for the team. So, so no one has to deal with that again. I don't know. You would think that's what they would do as a, from a business perspective. All right, box two, random team break one. So now that we've got a nice look at some of the um, of some of these cards, now we can go a little bit faster because usually for the first break, I like to go a little bit slower just so we can get a nice look at the cards. But now that we got a good idea, we can start – Breezing through these a little more quickly just in the interest of time. We have half case pick your teams available on jazpiecehobbyland.com. So check it out, ladies and gentlemen. These it's a lot of fun. These are these are a lot of fun. A lot of quirky stuff in here. We got Manny Machado. He's everywhere. We got a mini. Piece of his bat in some sort of tropical frame. I like this. That goes to the Orioles. Still goes to the O's. Jonah with that one. Curtis says, if they're jerks, they should be found out. Well, I mean, from a business perspective, you want to try to avoid that. A lot of people are jerks. Sometimes they're really good at baseball. <laughs> if you want all of your ball players to be uh, to be saints, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> Folks, uh, our new website may – we've got a cryptocurrency card right here. Our new website may accept some of that. I don't know how many of you guys are going to use it, but it's a cool feature to have, just to have, I guess. Different way to pay. Well, Josh Hader was just was just <laughs> quoting, I think, Dave Chappelle and like rap lyrics. That's hardly hardly makes him a jerk. All right, there's Carlos Gonzalez, Relic. That'll go to Scott McNulty with the Rocks. Yeah, real sci-fi. 
that is, that is uh, that's already broken news. It's I I can't believe that it's actually happening. Yeah, the Usniel Diaz is the big Dodger prospect. Um, thank thankfully we didn't have to give up guys like Bueller. Although maybe last year we would have. And Urias is coming back off the DL. So the Dodgers have still have a lot of uh, a lot of their uh, prospects intact, which is nice. And there's Kenley Jansen, Kenley Jansen relic. For my Dodgers. It's another one for Jarrett K. And now let's take a look at the backs of these minis to see if there's any uh, numbered ones. Sometimes they're hand numbered. There you go. 25 out of 25. Hand numbered. Biz Marquee. Nice. That'll go to the other spot. I've got some Bismarck here on the playlist this time around. Nice. So there you go. Non-baseball, non-sport, another spot. Robert Hausner with that one. Salary. There is no salary cap in baseball, but that luxury tax is real, though, Curtis. That prevented the Dodgers from making a lot of moves in the offseason. Christian Williams saying, Joe, do you prefer Machado Autographs will... Oh, do you think Machado autographs go up or down in price after this trade? I don't think so. I think because it's his second team, it may. I mean, I don't know if his rookie cards are really going to do anything. Um, but maybe his first Dodger cards may may have some value with uh, with fans in LA here. But I think his Orioles stuff, I think, will probably just stay the same. Indeed, Eric Jennings, the Dodgers did have a position of wealth to trade from. Evan Newman saying, with trading Willie Calhoun for a rental was not smart, so hopefully Machado works out. Actually, Evan, that move, believe it or not, was smart because Willie Calhoun has, his hands are made of uh, cinder blocks. I don't know if you watch Willie Calhoun very often, Evan, but as a Dodger fan, I've been tracking his progress. Willie Calhoun has cinder blocks for hands. He cannot play the field. So... Uh, but he can hit a baseball very far. So it was good that he was traded to an American League team to, to like pretty much be a DH or something like that. So I think that was a good I think that was a good move. And Willie Calhoun, I don't think would have would have ended up becoming a Dodger because he would have been have to move to to first base or something like that was a top prospect Evan Newman. That's the thing with prospects, folks, is that is that you can have these top 10 prospects, not all of them are going to work out in your organization. So that's uh that's pretty good. Oh, so Evan saying I followed the Royals not the Dodgers. I know, but you seem so confident talking about Willie Calhoun. So I thought I thought you knew. Curt is saying he doesn't. Oh, you think the luxury tax is a slap on the wrist? It's not. It's been it's been increasing in severity every year, and I think if you violate the luxury tax in multiple years in a row, it gets worse and worse, which includes losing draft positions, losing international pool money, bonus money that you can use, getting dinged with the tax in general, can uh, can hamstring an organization, so that you you can't just spend willy nilly for years upon years. It's, an, it's enough to prevent a lot of free agency from the free agency market last year from being soft. It was soft last year because of that luxury tax and because people want to avoid it. So it is working. I think when it first started, I think it was more of a slap on the wrist, but I think nowadays it's a lot more, uh, I think it's a lot more severe. There's Method Man. I've got some Method Man on the playlist too. Compared to other sports, 
Yeah, I think other sports it's easier to I think with other sports the hard cap I think makes a little more sense. Basketball you just have a smaller roster. So you don't have to you don't have to worry about that too much. You need a little bit of flexibility in baseball when you're when you have like 40 man rosters, 25 active, minor people in the minor league system. Basketball the payrolls are a little more manageable with a harder cap, I think. Football as well, because the car the contracts are not guaranteed. Oh, look at this spicy card right here. The Trinidad 7 pot. I do not want to try that. I actually, had, I actually don't know what the, uh, what the hockey caps are. Bit of a pinstripe on the right side for Rizzo. That'll be uh, Jeremy Merle and the Cubs. Smoltz, there's Harbor Island. There's Nikki Delmonico, baseball hat. <laughs> There's Moon. That's ours. Our Moon. Just Moon. And we've got 67 out of 75, a rip card. Hank Aaron, rip card for the Atlanta Braves. Alan Murdoch. It's up to you. Boss man says keep it sealed. He's muttering under his breath, keep it sealed. Especially if it's Hank Aaron. We'll set that aside right there. These batting gloves. Hayes wants you to rip it. Landon wants you to rip it. Alan, it's up to it's Alan's choice. Nice Otani card right there. Uh, Hayes is just curious, but he's he admits that it's probably way worth way more unripped. It, it usually is. And there's Jose Abreu, a bit of a pinstripe right there. Got these guys right there. Uh, Adam is asking, "What? It's a rip card? Well, you just saw it right here. Uh, I, I'll show you the details, and let me just sleeve this Otani up really quick." That's for the Angels, I'm sure. I think there's different variations of the, that guy right there. So the rip card, it says rip card right there. You can see, it's kind of hard to tell right here. There's a little lip right here that you can take, and you can rip down the middle, and then you can pull apart the sides right here, and inside, there's a mini card inside. Now, it could just be, it could be anything. It could be a sketch card. I've seen one of one sketch cards out of here. I've seen like nice autographs pop out of here. I've also seen just a regular card. <laughs> so that's the risk. I think Alan, you're you're gonna you wanna keep it unripped? Ripped or unripped, sir? I think he wants unripped. Alright, so no no numbers on the back right here. Unripped, says Alan. All right. So, Alan, when and when you receive this, if you decide to rip it, um, if you decide to rip it, let us know what you get. Oh, I don't think I've seen this. Is this a? Uh, is this new? Inside the card, inside this card, I don't remember seeing possibilities on the back. A red mini autograph card, an exclusive mini parallel, an exclusive mini wood parallel, an exclusive mini metal, or a one of a kind sketch card. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna set that aside, but nice. I'd keep it unripped as well. <laughs> Let someone else rip it. All 
All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. We'll post another one of these four box breaks in the store uh, once I'm done. We've got half case pick your teams of this. Six box pick your teams of Allen and Ginter. Very quirky product, but a lot of fun. Oh, Steve Wilkerson. Smart guy here. Put a magnet up. Do we have a magnet? Boss man, do we have a magnet in here? Could we put could we game the system? Put a magnet against that thing, see if it's a metal card? I don't we might we might have a magnet here somewhere. Get an x-ray machine here, figure it out. Kurt is saying probably not magnetic metal. Boo. Oh, Steve actually has seen the magnet test before. Take it to the airport and put it through the x-ray machine. Yeah, Alan, take it to the airport, put it in your pocket, see if it dings. It does magnetize, says John Oakridge. So there you go, Curtis. Only three left in Optic. So there you go. Another new baseball release. So we're going to have a great day. We already knocked out a, a few breaks already. And it's still early in the day. I don't think we're even... We're not even halfway through the broadcast today, folks. Put it in a microwave. <laughs> I'm not gonna put it. I'm not gonna put Alan's rip card in a microwave. Now, if I could put the microwave on camera, I may consider it. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to fit on our on our break table here. Curtis is saying Upper Deck just released Magneto X Men cards that aren't magnetized, so Magneto can't use them against you. That's a good call. I'd be terrified. Imagine Magneto using this against me. All right, good luck, everyone. There's our moon, moon. We got Sacagawea there. Venice Beach, just up the street from us. Folks, you should visit. Oh, this is uh, Jock Peterson's brothers in this set. Champ. Does a lot of charity work Albert with uh, Albert Pujols' kids and stuff, too. More hot peppers, vintage cleats, another mini on the back, Franco, Mikhail Franco. More Otani, we'll save that for the Angels, that'll be for Jeremy Merle. All right, and we've got Buster Posey Relic for the Giants, Oppo Joe Mojo going to Scott McNulty. Another nice beach. Jesse Winker, Ichiro, Yasiel. There's the modern baseball. We've got Flags of Lost Nations, Texas. Love the bullpen cart. There's Sean Manea and Ronald Acuna mini autograph. Nice. I like the frames this year. I got the there's a nice tropical theme to the to the frames. 
Um, I think some of the beach cards could be numbered. I think they, they stand out if they do. Nice one for the Braves, Alan Murdoch. There you go, Alan. Nice. Rip card and the Ronald Acuna mini autograph. They should bring back the baseball sweater. All right, there's the DeGrom. Almost done here, folks. Cespedes, more moons. <laughs> I love this stuff. This Kirsch. Yeah, and our, our shipping team will take a look at the... We'll double-check the backs of these two to make sure that I haven't missed any numbered cards, but most of them should be pretty obvious if they are. And there's another Ian Happ relic for the Cubs, Jeremy Merle. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Let me check the backs, and then we'll do the box toppers, and we'll go from there. Lindsey Vaughn. We did see Bismarck Key numbered. Let's see if there's anything else numbered back here. No. But these minis, of course, will ship because they are inserts. All right, box topper time. Good luck. So we got a few oversized ones and then just a regular one right here. Obviously, these will ship too. Good luck. First one is... Glaber Day, Glaber Torres. Sometimes these can be autographed. These would be nice to frame if you're like a Glaber Torres fan. Fan of the box hoppers. They, they display nicely. All right, next one is, oh, Mike Trout. No autograph, but a nice Mike Trout. Nice sepia tone there. And next one is nice Shohei Otani Angels with a couple nice ones. You got Trout and Otani, Jeremy Merle. Very cool. And this guy right here. We have New Dodger Manny Machado. Nice. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Great first break of Allen & Ginter Baseball delivering the quirkiness as usual. There's more in the store. Another four-box random team break, a six-box pick-your-team break, all on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out, and we'll see you for the next break. Bye-bye.